Turnitin Assignments In this video, you will learn how to set up a Turnitin for an assignment folder and how to make the submission folder available for students. Using Turnitin allows you to check assignments for plagiarism, grade the assignments and give feedback that can be added in line with the text. Let's take a look at how to set up Turnitin. If you haven't created an assignment folder yet, please take a look at our previous tutorials in how to do this. Go to your submission folder by clicking on Assignments in the navigation bar. Click the drop-down menu next to the assignment you wish to set up Turnitin for and select Edit Submission Folder. In this new page, click the Turnitin tab on the navigation bar. Now click on the checkbox to enable Turnitin for this folder. Add a start date and an end date, a title and instructions if necessary. Let's look at the optional settings. Click the button below to expand the settings page. Go through them and make the relevant selections. For normal assignments, you can choose the repository you want the assignment to be stored in. This can be done under the field Submissions to this assignment will be stored in. Please notice that all submissions stored in the Turnitin repository will be checked against previous submissions submitted here, as well as any information that can be found on the internet. All sources with similar content will display in the similarity report. So if you click in any of them, you'll be able to see the entire source, since all submissions are stored in the same repository for all Turnitin users around the world. It's important to keep in mind that when checking documents for plagiarism that contain sensitive information, such as thesis and dissertations, you must select the option Do not store the submitted papers. This means that the submission will not be entered into the repository, and this will prevent the submission from showing up in someone else's similarity report. This is especially important to prevent someone from seeing the content of the submissions that are stored in the repository, since it may be possible to copy the content and publish it under their own names. Select all the options accordingly and click Save once you are done. Back to the previous menu and under Originality Check, click on the Display checkbox to allow students to see their similarity scores. You can also adjust the frequency in which the papers are checked. Save and close once all is set. Now let's take a look in how to make submission folders available to students. Once Turnitin has been set up for this assignment, it can be added to the content area so that students can submit their papers. It is important to note that students can submit their assignments to be able to draw plagiarism reports. As with any other assignment, students can upload their assignments to Brightspace following the usual procedure. Once the assignment has been submitted, the student will receive a confirmation email. Students will be able to track the similarity report by going to their assignments and then clicking on the number of submissions next to the assignment submission folder they wish to check. A new page with a submission history will open, and under the field Turnitin, it will be possible to see the progress of their Turnitin check. Now that your students have submitted their assignments and Turnitin has already created a similarity report, you might want to give immediate feedback and grade the assignments directly from Turnitin. Let's see how to do this. Go to Course Admin and click Assignments. Then click on your assignment and scroll down to see all the submissions. You will notice that next to each assignment there is a progress bar with the similarity results. Click here to open Turnitin. In a new page, click on Quick Mark, the first of the third grade mark options. The second and third buttons are used for grade marks such as feedback summary and rubrics. Here you can add comments or voice messages to students. Be aware that feedback will only be available to individual students and not groups. Turnitin also makes it possible to attach a rubric to the streamline grading, making it more valid and reliable. If you are not using a rubric, you can simply fill in the grade manually. In case you do use a rubric, you can apply the score to the grade. Please note that it is not possible to use decimals in the score.